Hi guys, this is Mastraff on June the 6th, 2011, at half past 11 p.m. Now, uh, yes, uh, this is this is a very, very late uh, anniversary special video, celebrating four years of Mastraff on YouTube. Now, just like last year, I'm going to be, uh, I will be answering your questions that you have messaged me on, on uh, YouTube or Facebook, or Skype, or just talk to me about. So, um, yeah, by the, uh, sorry about the lateness of this, but I've spent the last three days, uh, uh, basically spending time with my girlfriend, so, um, yeah. But I finally got some time now before I probably go to sleep, so might as well get out of the way. So, by the magic of cheating, we go back two days ago to me, Master Ath. Happy anniversary, Masterath! Four years here, and well, we got some, uh, we got some great, uh, well, we got some questions here. We got five questions. Uh, now, to be honest, I would have liked a bigger turnout, but we'll make do with what we've got. You know, I'm not like uh, a, a, my, a moaning bitch like I was back in 2010, uh, who uh, used to plead for views. Now I take it as it comes. So. Um, yeah, one of my main rules of this, I think I've probably got a few more questions than just five, uh, is that I would not answer any questions that I have already answered, uh, already. Uh, like for example, uh, what song do you use for a theme song, for Master of Short Wars, uh, for the Master of Short Wars series? If anyone had asked something for, uh, for, for Legends or uh, for my announcement intro, then I would answer it, but, uh, Especially for the series intro, uh, I think I've answered that four or five times already. Uh, so, uh, just if anyone doesn't know, it's a combination of Metalingus by Alter Bridge. It's a guitar riff from Metalingus by Alter Bridge at the start, and you're going down by Sick Puppies. Uh, just in case anyone didn't know, and now hopefully that'll be the last time that someone messages me that question. Okay, let's move on to our question, shall we? Whew, this is a good one, actually. Um, there have certainly been a lot of good BBC sitcoms. Uh, of course, the most famous one is Only Fools and Horses, obviously. Uh, going on for, what, 20-odd years or so. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. In fact, my favourite... Ooh, it's, it's difficult, I'd say. Uh, I'd probably have to go with Step Turn Son. Um, you know, it was a... For anyone who doesn't know, what hole have you been hiding in? Um, it's, what... Started in the 60s, I think, black and white. Um, ended in the uh, 70s. they done eight seasons, or eight series, uh, tolling about 18, 19 odd hours of, um, of, of entertainment. It included, of course, uh, Harry H. Corbett playing uh, Harold Steptoe, and Wilfred Bramwell playing his father, Albert Ladysmith Steptoe, and they were two rag and bone men in Shepherd's Bush, London. Um, and basically, it's sort of probably, I, I don't know, it might have been where John Sullivan got his idea for doing something like Only Falls and Horses, because it was basically two rag and bone men trying to make money off crap, uh, which is what Del Boy done near enough every single episode. But I like it because, you know, it, it it's the sheer wit and brilliance of Harry H. Corbett with the dirty mind of Wilfred Bramwell. And it worked brilliantly for eight series and two films and two Christmas specials and we're still talking about it. And one shitey stage show. Well, I think I answered this one quite a few times, but I will answer it again, might as well. Um, I was inspired... Uh, to become a part of Family Rules by multiple people on uh, Family Rules. Uh, not in the same way as other people, because a lot of other people were inspired by Hogwild 94. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know about Hogwild 94 until about, what, a year ago, in fact. Uh, but I used to watch Robotic Randomness, which was one of my favourites, and of course Richie's Rural Wars. And both of them, especially Richie's Rural Wars, uh, was my influence uh, to making a Family Rules series, uh, which of course began in February 2009, and 
has been going on for nearly two and a half years now. Um, as for me being um, more successful than I thought I would be, yes, I would say that. Um, to be honest, as I said last year, I, uh, I, I, I I moaned and whined like a little bitch last year. Um, and I have apologised for it multiple times and it will not happen again. I'm uh, having more fun this time around, which is a good thing, really. Um, but, problem really being, uh, was, uh, I never, I never really guessed why, or I never really knew why my series wasn't getting many views. Uh, now I know why, is that the quality was shit. And I will openly admit to it, it's the first, probably, probably one of the first, probably the most famous family or series which used a phone as its recorder for seven series. Now I've got a camera for series eight and everything's going well. Whew. To have six robots in Annihilator, I've got to go for good ones, you know, or, or, or robots that would certainly do quite well. I'd certainly have to add Hypnodisc and Razor into this, mainly just to settle the age-old question which we will never have answered between who would win between Hypnodisc and Razor just to settle it and just to prove that Hypnodisc would kill Razor in an instant. Um, along with the other four robots I'd probably add in Gravity um, for well why why not basically Gravity brilliant robot great flipper uh, I'd probably have to add in um, whew, Three more robots for Annihilator. I'll probably add in Chaos 2 as well. You know, great, great robot. Um, Storm 2, I'd probably add in as well. I'm actually quite a big fan of Storm 2. Uh, it's it's a very good robot, and to be honest, it's just the fact that if the judges didn't like it, then they should have bleed and not, not made it win the New Bloods or something. You know, instead of making that bullshit of a final. Uh, and the last robot I'd add in... Chromalot. Why? Well, you need some cannon fodder, don't you? Basically, when it comes to how many family or series I'll do, uh, it depends until I get bored of it, or until uh, people start to get bored of it, and they make it verbally clear that they start getting bored of it. Uh, but I'm up to eight series at the moment, and I have no intention of stopping here. Uh, so I'll basically, I'll keep going until I physically or mentally or schedulely can't do it anymore which to be honest sadly might have to be within a within the next few series or so mainly because I'm starting to move on in life you know I'm, I'm moving into my second year of college you know and then I'm trying to find a job and stuff uh, it's getting difficult and you know I'm spending time with my girlfriend and stuff it's getting difficult trying to find the time to to, fit, to get these episodes up uh, and to actually do them finish them edit them publish them and upload them whatever um, also, mainly because I'm sort of getting to the point now where, uh, my time is slowly coming up. Or my time is slowly up. So, um, yeah. Uh, I've been sort of warming the second spot seat for quite a while now, so, you know. I mean, I have, I have no intention of stopping now, but once I do, that seat will have to be filled by someone. Uh, but I'll certainly say that Family Draw Wars was on its deathbed at one point last year. Now, if anything, it's, um, I don't know, doing some two-step jig or something. There's certainly been a lot of uh, Family Draw series which have improved. My series, for example, Launch 995's Robo War, Alex the 15th's, um, ADW. Uh, and then you've got new series that have come through, you know, or series that have come through that are starting to get popular, you know, like RWA, uh, you know, uh, Ross's Road Wars is another one, and of course the Road Wars channel, and many, 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 many have started to come through over the last year, or even more than the last year, but they've started to come through and they've actually looked quite good, and, uh, you know, with like new arenas and stuff, uh, you know, and it's started to look quite, and of course, not forgetting, of course, um, Connection Robotier as well, uh, sorry Steve, <laughs> but yeah, uh, same thing, really, with uh, all of them. Um, and basically, you know, I, kn I know I'm sort of on borrowed time at the moment, but uh, hell, I'm s I'll, I'll stay here until I, until, um, until I move on.
To be honest, since most of my mates on YouTube are Family Draws producers, there aren't many who probably will become famous one day. Mainly because, as Launch995 said in a recent episode of the 9 o'clock hoedown, uh, it doesn't really have much of a uh, audience to it. Uh, you know, I mean, you'll be lucky if you get 20 fans of a Family Draws series. Or 10 or so. But, um, yeah. So, if you look... Uh, beyond friends, uh, beyond family Dots producers, I'd probably have to say Dark Magician eighty four. He's been in the, you know, he's been in like uh, doing Yu Gi Oh videos for quite a while now, and uh, you know, I mean Yu Gi Oh even after ten years is still you know a going strong card game, probably the most famous card game there is, apart from poker, obviously. But um, yeah, uh, and I'd say you know if he plays his cards right. Um, you can make it one day. You can keep us up. So, folks, that's it. That's the five questions, and I've answered them in quite good detail. So, I'm going to do this like I did last time. Uh, I hope I answered your questions well. If not, then... Bleh. So, folks, I'm the Master, and I'm going to bed. Good night.